with a name like mullet, you might think of at least two different things. One is a mullet, and the other is a mullet. Neither of which is this animal. The land mullet is a reptile, a skink to be exact, and one of the largest skinks alive today. This lizard gets its name because it has large scales and a blunt head, like the previously mentioned mullet. The lizard does not have a glorious mane of hair, unfortunately, so the other mullet is out. Though they have a fishy name, these reptiles are strictly land animals. But they do enjoy a wet forest over a dry scrubland. Land mullets are native to Australia, and they live along the east coast. These vertebrates prefer subtropical rainforests as well as bordering evergreen forests with dappled canopy cover. If a habitat is too dense, the land mullet is unable to find enough sunlight to warm itself to a cozy 86 degrees. So it requires places that specifically have well-lit sections. Furthermore, they don't like to venture too far from shelter. So they need fallen logs, upturned tree roots, and other natural burrows near where they can bask. Land mullets are ectotherms. They get their heat from the surrounding environment. In their case, the sun keeps them warm, so they're out and about during daylight hours. These skinks spend their mornings warming up and their afternoons gathering food. Land mullets love fungi, as well as fruits and other vegetation. The adults are more likely to have a plant-based diet, but they'll also snack on the occasional invertebrate. Juveniles tend towards animal fare, like crickets, grasshoppers, beetles, and more. But they also take mushrooms and fruits like their parents. At the end of the day, the land mullet is an omnivore. These reptiles try to bask near hiding places. If they're disturbed, they'll quickly run away to somewhere safe and dark. As the largest living skinks in Australia, they don't have many threats to contend with. Though larger monitor lizards will take a bite if given the opportunity. Land mullets also face a hazard in the form of the infamous cane toad. These warty amphibians produce a toxin that can kill an unlucky land mullet. They've also suffered from habitat fragmentation due to urban coastal development. However, it's worth noting that some anthropogenic environmental changes have been beneficial. Roads that are cut into dense forests give land mullets an opportunity to traverse areas they otherwise couldn't reach. They don't often actually get up on a road, but the edge habitats the roads create are perfect for expanding this reptile's range. Because they like to stay warm and cozy, these skinks don't often venture out on rainy or overcast days. The sunlight beckons them, as does the call of nature. Land mullet mating season is in the spring. Like some of their relatives, these reptiles may live in small family groups, though some sources claim they may also tend towards a solitary lifestyle. Whatever the case, the female gestates for approximately four months and gives birth to three or more live young, typically fewer than eight, in the summer. Remember, February is summer in Australia. The young are similar to their parents, but smaller and sport pale spots along their sides. These fade as they age, and they reach adult size around two years old. These lizards are square-shaped around their body, Male land mullets are shorter than females in body length, but they have longer limbs and heads. On average, these lizards can reach almost two feet in length, with half of that length going to their long tail. They're considered long-lived and are believed to live at least a decade, though they've more than doubled this in captivity. For more facts on land mullets, check out the links below. Give a thumbs up if you learned something new today. Thank you to our patrons, SpikeSpiel93, Dad, and everyone else for their support of this channel. And thank you for watching Animal Fact Files.